All right, we are good. So today's class on Tuesday, we worked on neutral pelvis and difference between the hip joint and the pelvis. If you weren't here, that's fine. Um, it's a concept we work a lot with in lit yoga. Today, we're gonna kind of um, not push our limits, but we're gonna explore a little bit more of um, ranges that we can move in with this neutral pelvis. Hi, Jesse, welcome. And um, ranges that we can move in when we have that neutral pelvis. And we'll also intentionally do some opening of the pelvis. So keeping it kind of in neutral in terms of the long back, but opening it side to side, kind of like a half moon motion. We're not doing half moon today though, so. Um, but in other, in, other, um, in other ways. So kind of starting to push our edges with our neutral pelvis and see what else is possible, building on what we did on Tuesday. Once again, the stream is gonna be um, pretty flowy. So um, always remember that you can take an option that we did earlier in the class. If I, if I give an option to kind of layer on to what we did, you do not have to ever take it. Um, listen to your body, you know it better than I do. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started as we always do with our low bridge. You can come onto your back on the mat. Feet are on the floor, knees up to the ceiling. And then lay that spine down. Take a big inhale here. Exhale through the mouth. And this time inhale, reach the arms overhead, maybe along the floor reaching them away from the body and pulling the front body down into the mat. Exhale, gently release. One more, just like that, inhale, pulling those arms almost out of the torso and then drawing those you know, deep core and intercostal rib muscles down into the mat. And exhale. Bring those hands back along your side. We'll lengthen the tailbone, establishing neutral pelvis. Use those glutes lift into our low bridge. Keep length in the low back here. We're not going to do that externally rotated version today, but instead we're going to try to move a bit with this neutral pelvis. So maybe take a second, take your right hand to the front of your pelvis, the left hand to the back. Feel a sense of evenness here, like one side's not falling to the floor. And then we'll start to move the entire pelvic structure over to the right, down in space, over to the left, up, and then back to the middle. And this, these are small ranges of motion. So keeping the tailbone oriented exactly as it is, we kind of just pick this whole structure up and make a circle. So moving right, down, to the left, and up. Keeping both halves of the pelvis on the same plane, I guess, is another way to think of it. One more to the right. As you shift to the side, you'll feel, you know, one glute light up more than the other. And then move the other direction, left, down, right, and up left, trying to maintain length in the low back. And if you're noticing, continuing to the left, that that low back is starting to be compromised and get a little junky, just cut the circle out. There's never a need to layer on. Let's do one more left. Pull. And then we'll hold at the top, press the palms up to the ceiling, stretching out the wrist, pulling back on the right fingers with the left hand. Big inhale here, lengthen that tailbone, maybe 10% more towards the heels. And exhale. And then we'll switch hands. Left palm presses up, pull back with the right hand. Maybe reach the thumb out to the right. Big inhale, lengthening in the tailbone. And exhale. 
Hands lower to the mat and we slowly lower all the way through the spine until the pelvis reaches the mat. I'm going to quickly lock our zoom room. You can take a moment closing those eyes and just settling there. Great. Now moving on to our abdominals today. I'm going to use a block. It's not totally necessary, so don't feel obligated. We'll have the legs up in the air today. If you have the block, you can bring it between the thighs. Again, you don't have to do that. And interlace the hands behind the head. Elbows come up to the ceiling. Big inhale here. Exhale, head and shoulder blades come off the mat. Drawing that front body into the core as if you could pull it through into the spine. And inhale, lower. Exhale, head and shoulder blades lift. Feeling that head lay into the hands. We're going to swivel the pelvis here. So imagine you could move the left half of the pelvis up towards your head. So it's kind of like a little twist. You'll see the legs um, twist a bit. But your torso stays in the center. Return to neutral with the pelvis, inhale lower. Exhale, head and shoulder blades lift. Opposite side pulls up towards you. So right half of the pelvis, imagine almost like hiking your hip. Well, hip. <laughs> hiking that half of your pelvis up towards your rib cage. Return to neutral, inhale lower. I already feel that, ooh, what a sign. Exhale, head and shoulder blades lift. Left half of the pelvis pulls up towards you. Add a twist to the left, and then slice the right arm on the outside of the left leg, really reaching over to the left. Just like we did Tuesday, but our legs are doing something different. Hand returns, pelvis returns, inhale lower. Exhale, head and shoulder blades lift. Draw those ribs in, right half of the pelvis pulls up towards you. Twist to the right. Keep that head laying in the right hand. Left arm slices on the outside of the right leg. Really reaching. Hand returns, pelvis returns, inhale lower. Oh my goodness. Exhale, head and shoulder blades lift. It's okay to feel a lot. Left half of the pelvis pulls up towards you. This time twist to the right. Left arm slices out to the right. So you're kind of in front of both legs here. Hand returns, pelvis returns, inhale, lower. Woo! Exhale, head and shoulder blades lift. Right half of the pelvis pulling up towards you. Twist to the left. Right arm slices over to the left. Really reach. Hand returns, pelvis returns. Inhale, lower. Oh, let the legs relax. Once again, that one be very hard to talk. And we'll come up and over onto all fours for quadruped. Wrists right under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And just feel here the activation of that core and how it supports the length in the spine in this position. So we're gonna practice something that we'll do later in the flow here, and we're gonna break it down a little. So our first step is like you were um, starting a lawnmower. Weight into the left hand, pull up with the right elbow along the waist. You get a little bit of rib rotation, and then lower that hand. Do that again, lawnmower start. Pulling up with the elbow. Lower that hand, we'll do one more just like that. Le um, lengthen through the left elbow. Lower that hand, now adding on, and this is a little trickier, you can always sweep the left shin out to the left a little bit, making a shallow diagonal. You can watch for the first one or go straight for it. But we'll do this lawnmower pull at the same time, externally rotating the left hip and the right hip, pulling the right knee up to the ceiling. So it's kind of a coordination, uh, it's like a brain teaser. And then both knee and hand lower. 
And then we pull up with the elbow, externally rotate the right knee and the left hip. Hand and knee lower. Two more like that. We pull up, press into the left side of the body. This is your nice strong base of support. And lower, just one more. Elbow and knee, lifting up to the ceiling. Doesn't have to be the ceiling either. Maybe you're going more to the side, that's fine. And lower. So that was a really intentional opening of the pelvis, unlike what we did um, for most of class on Tuesday. So now we're, we'll do the other side. So weight into that right hand, keep that core strong here. Pulling up with the left elbow along the side of the body and lower that hand and up. Feeling strength in the right shoulder and lower and up and lower. And now this first one will go nice and slow. Again, you can sweep the right shin out to the right a little bit. It'll widen your base of support. So here we go. Left knee and elbow pull up to the ceiling. More like a modified side plank here. And lower, hand and knee land. Remembering you can sweep that shin out as much as you need on the floor and up and lower. One more time, really feel, I have two more probably, really feel the right glute activating to rotate that hip and lower, but work one more in your range of motion and lower. We'll bring the forearms to the floor. Coming into dolphin, again, you can interlace the fingers. You can also stay on the knees if this feels more accessible. If you'd like, you can tuck the toes, press into the forearms, pressing the forearms into the ground. Lift knee and hip way high, feeling almost like the front body was pulling into your back. And all of that was lifting up away from the floor into the pelvis. Option here to lift the left leg. You don't have to take it. If you have that left leg lifted, you can try. Keep your pelvis completely neutral and just sweep the left leg as is out to the left. Toes stay facing the floor. Return to neutral. Out to the left. Return to neutral. One more, out to the left, return to neutral, lower that foot, pause for a second. <sighs> and the right leg lifts, if you like. Maybe right leg goes out to the right. This is called abduction, back to neutral, out to the right, back to neutral. A great one to be done on the knees as well, out to the right. Back to neutral, lower those toes. And then you can come through the knees and come all the way forward. If you've got that playlist, you can start going now. We'll inhale, rise to Tadasana. And exhale, bring the hands to heart center. <sighs> I already feel a bit of heat. And exhale. <sighs> inhale, arms reach forward and up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, keep the length in the spine. Neutral pelvis here. Right foot steps back, lower the knee, top of the foot. Inhale, lift. Just like last class, right hand to the front of the pelvis, left hand to the back. Get a sense of evenness um, from side to side. So we don't want one half pushing forward. Right glute turns on, hands to the mat, step back for plank. Glutes turn on, lower the knees, lower all the way to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lift into your down dog. Pushing into the floor with those hands, using that push to feel a rise in the pelvis. Right foot steps forward, lower the left knee, top of the foot. Inhale, lift. Left hand to the front of the pelvis, right hand to the back. Checking in, seeing what's going on. Hands plant in front of the right foot. Step the left foot in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. 
finding neutral pelvis in Tadasana, slightly squeezing those glutes. Exhale, hinge at the hips, hands plant. Left foot steps back, lower the knee, top of the foot. Inhale, lift. Bring the right hand to the pelvis on the right side. Left hand comes down by your side. Really moving from the ribs. We'll start a twist to the right and reach the left arm forward. This will come in later. Back to neutral, inhale. Exhale from the rib cage, turning to the right. Back to neutral. One more, turning to the right. Left arm sweeps forward. Hands plant in front of the right foot, step it back, plank. Draw those shoulders on the back, glutes are on. Lower the knees, lower to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Shine that chest forward, exhale, down dog. You can walk the feet in a touch. Left foot steps forward, right knee lowers. Top of the foot, inhale, lift. Left hand to the left side of the pelvis, right arm down towards the floor. Inhale, exhale, twisting to the left from the ribs. Right arm reaches forward. And return to neutral, inhale. Exhale, twist. So we exhale on the twist, inhale, return to consolidate our core. Exhale, consolidate it, use that to twist. And then hands plant in front of the left foot, step the right foot in, exhale, forward fold, hinge at those hips here, feel both halves of the pelvis even, and inhale, rise, Tadasana. Moving on, exhale, hinge at the hips, hands plant. Step the left foot back, I'm sorry, the right foot back. Keep that knee off the floor. And then imagine you could push your two feet apart, turn the right glute on, lift that torso so you've got a diagonal from head to the heel on this right foot. Arms sweep back by the hips. You can even check in hands on the pelvis to see what's going on like we did on Tuesday. Right arm sweeps down and forward, right along the ear. Little extra demand and return but right by the pelvis. Right arm goes down and forward next to the ear in this tilted pressing. Return, down and forward, return, Last time here, we're heading to a warrior variation. Arm goes down and forward. Open the right half of the body over to the side of the mat. Left forearm comes on the left thigh. Now we're gonna take a moment here, playing with our pelvic alignment. So you can release, um, we have these two bones on the base of our pelvis called the sit bones. You can release the right sit bone and let it fly back in space. And you'll feel it totally changes the sensation in the core. Now try to draw the left sits bone, the left half of the pelvis, forward as if it was completely straight, if, if you were standing up. And then bend from there. So play with that one more time. Let that go. Tailbone's kind of now back on the diagonal. And then exhale, try to pull it back under you so it's reaching down towards the floor. If you need to turn in your front foot a little, that's okay. Inhale here, find length through that side body. Exhale, take it down and around, side lunge into the right knee and hip. And you'll want to turn those left toes over to the side of the mat. Bending into the left knee and hip, side lunge, and to the right. Remembering not to hyperextend over to the left in the, um, in the leg that's lengthened. And over to the right, feeling that femur in the hip socket. One more over to the left, we're gonna move from here. We go over to the right in our side lunge. Push off the right leg, come to stand. And we'll do skater hops. So we push off the left leg and land on the right foot. Push off the right foot, land on the left leg, moving side to side, over to the right. One more over to the left, Step right foot out, side lunge. Just like that, we push off to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. One more, to the left. Nice, Jesse. I see the video. 
Side lunge to the right. Push off last time to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. This time bend into your side lunge, turn to the back of the back, hands plant, step into plank, pause. Now taking some pelvic twists, crouch back and then let the knees move over to the left. Your pelvis will move to the right, but keep the torso even. So we don't wanna let the left half collapse. Back to plank, shift forward. Crouching those hips back, pelvis to the left, knees to the right. Pressing into the hands, lift through the torso. Back to plank, a little quicker. Knees left, pelvis right, forward. Knees right, pelvis left, forward. Two more, knees left, pelvis right, forward. Last time, knees right, pelvis left. Shift forward to plank, lower to the floor. You can go through the knees or straight. Pause here. Two options, you can keep the hands where they are or bring them on the back of the pelvis with the palms facing up. If you do this option, use it as a reminder to lengthen the tailbone. Really root the pubic bone down Lift just the legs here. And then we abduct the legs in this position. So they open out to the side, back to neutral, out to the side, back to neutral, keeping the tailbone really long, out to the side, back to neutral, to the side, back to neutral, and plant the hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift to your down dog. Big inhale here. And exhale. We'll lift the left leg, three-legged down dog. Bend that knee. Externally rotate the hip so pelvis doesn't move. Back to neutral. This time, externally rotate the hip. From here, open up the left half of the pelvis. Keep the rib cage as it is. So you're getting a bit of a twist. Return to neutral so that knee will come back to a neutral position as well. One more like that, externally rotate, open that half of the pelvis, rib cage remains as it is. And now this time step the left foot down under you and about six feet in front of the right foot, turn to the left, lower that butt, hands um, face towards the feet and we lift into a table. We did this on Tuesday. Feeling that length through the front of the hip. Openness in the chest, so don't let those shoulders roll forward. And lower, we'll do one more table. Drawing front body into the back body. Lower those hips to the floor, turn to the left, returning to down dog. And then keeping your feet a little bit wider than usual, let your heels drop over to the right side. So you get a little bit of a twist in the pelvis, but it's different than what we did in the plank. And then back through center, keep the ribs contained, heels lower over to the left. You'll feel that amazing pull on that outer part of the leg. Heels lift over to the right. And heels lift over to the left. Return to neutral, lifting the heels off the floor. Take a big inhale, pull up into the pelvis. Exhale, bend the knees and we can walk it forward. Inhale, rise, Tadasana. Oh, exhale, hands to heart center. Other side, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, hinge at the hips, hands plant. Sorry, my air conditioning, I couldn't breathe. Hands plant. Step the left foot back this time, coming into this long lunge with a straight knee. Pushing as if you could push the feet apart, fly the arms back by the pelvis, lift the chest, we're in a tilted crescent. Check in with your pelvis, take a second, see if anything wants to be wonky. Check if that left glute's snoozing, it might want to. 
And then left arm reaches down by the pelvis. Exhale, arm comes down forward right by the ear. Extra demand there. Return back to the pelvis. Arm comes forward next to the ear. Sweep it down and back. Sweep it forward. Down and back. Last time here, we're heading to warrior variation. Left arm sweeps forward. We open up to the left, ground the left heel down. And right forearm lightly on that thigh. And we take a moment checking in with this pelvis again, kind of doing this test. If we were vertical, would we have to move our pelvis at all? Ideally, no. So you keep the sit bones as is. It's very tempting to let the pelvis fly over to the left towards that left foot, but that kind of cheats you out of a great side stretch. Breathing here. Again, you can adjust either leg to feel like there's more space in the hips. One more breath. Continuing your circle over to the right, down and around, side lunge to the left, right toes turn to the side. Side lunge to the right. Side lunge to the left. Keeping that neutral pelvis, femur just pulling into the pelvis here. Over to the left, to the right. And this time we're gonna go for it. So we bend over to the left, side lunge. Push off, come to stand. Whoop. Push off the right leg, skater hops. One, two, three, four. Left leg steps out for our side lunge. Push off the left leg, come to stand. Skater hop, one, two, three, four. Left leg steps out, return, side lunge. Pushing off the left leg to stand, keeping this pelvis neutral as we do four skater hops. Left leg extends, pushing off that leg. This will be our last one. Keeping pelvis neutral here, here tailbone reaching down. We step the left foot out, side lunge, turn to the front of the mat, plank position. And we've got our crouching twists. Knees go right this time, pelvis left, sit back a bit, forward to plank. Hips go back, forward to plank. Hips go back, knees to the right, forward to plank. Hips back, knees left, pelvis right. Forward to plank. Two more. Knees right, pelvis left. Back to plank. One more. Knees to the left. Pelvis to the right. We shift it forward and lower to the floor. Again, you can have hands under the shoulders or bring them to the back of the pelvis. Palms up. Root that tailbone down. Pubic bone kind of Anchors into the floor, lifting just the legs here. And legs move out to the side and back together. Legs move away from each other, back together. Not letting them externally rotate as they go, but keeping as if those toes were facing the floor. Just like we did in Dolphin. One more. And together. Plant those hands, will lift into down dog. Right leg lifts here, three-legged down dog. Bend that knee, open up the hip, external rotation. Pelvis stays neutral this time. And return to neutral with the hip. Externally rotate, this time open up the right half of the pelvis. Keep the rib cage from moving on you. You'll feel a bit of stretch on that right side. Everything returns to neutral. Right hip, external rotation. Open that pelvic half. Return to neutral. We're heading towards that table. Right foot steps down and in front of the left foot, about six inches, and we turn to the left. Hands plant, fingers facing towards the feet. We're facing the back of the mat. If you got lost, I almost did. Squeeze those glutes, lift into your table.
feeling those glutes activate to open up the front body. Lower the hips one more, as if the thigh bones were being pulled away from you. Straight elbows here. And we lower to the floor, turn to the right, returning to down dog, and walk those feet a little bit wider than normal. Both heels fall over to the left, but the torso doesn't move. So you just get that stretch in the back body, the side body, down the leg, through center, knees, or heels go over to the right. Lift those heels through center, over to the left. Last time here, over to the right. And return to the middle. Inhale, rise on the toes. Exhale, bend the knees and walk it forward. Inhale, arms lift, Tadasana. Exhale, hinge at the hips, heading into our sun cells. Step it back for plank. Turn those glutes on, lower the knees and lower all the way to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lift into your down dog, really pressing into the floor to get that lift. Inhale here. Exhale, bend the knees, walk or hop forward. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, hinge at the hips, hands plant, step it back for plank. Lower through the knees or halfway for Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale, lift into your Down Dog. Left leg lifts this time, keeping that pelvis neutral. Exhale, step the foot forward. Rise into your crescent lunge, so slightly bend that right leg and come to a neutral position here. Check in with the pelvis first. We'll keep the hands on the pelvis. We're gonna get moving a bit with this, so take your time. Press into the left leg, weight into it, and as you shift forward, we'll swing the right leg forward. I don't have much room. And sweep the right leg back left crescent. So we push and swing the right leg. Let me move back and return to crescent. Ground into the floor with that left leg. Return to crescent. So we're just doing this pendulum motion. Now as you do this, use your hands to tell you what's going on in the pelvis. Likely this right hip's gonna wanna pull up. Right half of the pelvis, I mean. So maybe give it a little anchor down. Pushing and sweep, pushing and sweep. Using that left glute to keep this standing leg stable. Two more, sweep it. Last time, sweep it, bend the right knee, maybe catch it with the left hand, open up for a standing twist. And if you don't fully catch the knee, that's okay, you can just Stand without grabbing it. Oops. From here, we'll open into goddess. So sweep this right foot down and around. Open it up to the side. Arms extend wide. <sighs> Moving with goddess now. We step back to the front of the mat. Feet together. Open left leg for goddess. So flipping sides. Pause there. Step the left foot back to the front of the mat. Open right leg, goddess. Step to the front of the mat. Open left leg, goddess. Step it to the front of the mat. Open to the right and we'll pause. Reach these arms high overhead, interlace the fingers. Pull the ribs out of this neutral pelvis. Oh. Open the hands wide. Exhale, right hand plants, coming into side plank. You can also make this modified. But if you want a full side plank, you're on the outer edge of the right foot. Otherwise, right knee and shin are down. Whatever version you've got, left hand plants, left knee lowers. Here's that move. Right elbow and knee pull up to the ceiling. Right hand and foot or shin plant. Turn to your side plank or modified. 
Left hand and knee land, right elbow and knee pull. Return to right side plank or modified. Left hand and knee plant, right knee and elbow lift. Opposite hand plants, right side plank or modified. Last time here, left hand and knee plant, elbow and knee pull up to the ceiling or somewhere, you know. And then step the left, the right foot forward, shift your weight into that foot and we'll rise. You've got a choice, standing L here, or you can come to a full airplane by flying the arms back in space. Yogi's choice. Just feeling the support in that right glute. You've got to bend in the right knee, regardless of what you're doing. And then we'll all lower the left toes, lower the left hand, open up to the right for a twisted crescent. Take that right hand, check in with neutral in the pelvis. Likely the left half wants to dip down. Try not to let it. Ever the fight, I guess. And then the right hand plants, step back to your down dog. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> and we'll go straight to the other side. Right leg lifts, three-legged down dog. Keep that pelvis neutral. Step the right foot forward, land, bend the left knee slightly, lift for your right crescent. I'm gonna adjust my space a little already. And the hands come to either side of the pelvis. Give a little squeeze in, consolidate there. Get a sense of what's going on. And we're heading towards this swinging motion with the left leg. So we press into the floor with the right leg, extend both legs, swing left forward, swing it back, crescent lunge. And push and swing, crescent lunge. Take this in your own time. We'll just oscillate between these two positions, but really, Again, using these hands kind of as your metric, your way of measuring what's going on in your pelvis. Or an indicator, maybe, is a better word. Right glutes are gonna start really feeling very fiery, but it has to do all this work of hinging and pressing, so it makes sense. Two more. Last time, bend the left knee, maybe catch it with the right hand, open for a standing twist. Keeping that neutral pelvis. And then we open to the left side, left hip externally rotates, goddess pose, arms wide. Inhale here. Exhale, step both feet to the front, open to the right. This feels like a gingerbread man move. Step to the front of the mat, open to the left, goddess. But here we're really getting a chance to the right to track what happens to the pelvis as our hips are rotating. Back to neutral, over to the right. Last time, step it to the front, open to the left, pause in your goddess here. Extend those arms overhead. Feeling some opening. And then open the arms out to the side. <sighs> Heading to this side plank flow. Left hand plants, you can make it modified or a full side plank. Not full, but just side plank. And then right hand and knee land. Left elbow and knee pull up to the ceiling. Left hand returns. Your version of side plank. Right hand and knee land. Left elbow and knee up to the ceiling. Your version of side plank. Left hand is down. Right hand and knee. Left elbow and knee. 
Last time, left hand, your side plank, right hand and knee land, left elbow and knee lift. And we step the left foot forward, shifting into that leg, come into your standing L, or really feel the left glute turn on, flying all the way into an airplane. Yogi's choice here. It's okay to feel the quivers. I'm feeling very out of breath today, but I'm just embracing this. And the right toes lower, right hand lowers. Twisted crescent opening to the left. Check in with the right half of the pelvis. Is it dipping? What's going on there? And just gently, maybe you don't even change it, maybe you just notice it. Or you gently suggest that it change. Plant that left hand, step back for down dog. And lower the knees and we'll sit into a child's pose. The knees can be together or wide. Letting that forehead rest on the mat. Taking a big breath. And exhale, <sighs> release. One more big breath. Exhale, release. And on your next inhale, shift the weight forward. Come to stand at the top of the mat. And rise in Tadasana. <sighs> We're gonna, as you might guess, stream it together. Let me take care of my sweatiness. We have done everything in this flow. We are just putting a lot of things together and we'll really move through it. Um, usually, if I make it, uh, if we are putting things together we haven't done in sequence before, I'll go slowly through the first time. And then after that, you do it at the pace that feels good to you. So, we'll come to stand at the top of the mat. Let's put our hands on our hips or either side of the pelvis. Feel like that tailbone's lengthening down to the floor. Those glutes have been awakened. We'll inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, come out to the fingertips. Right foot steps back, keeping that knee straight. And rise into our tilted crescent. Now here we go, we're gonna move straight into more of a sequencing thing. Turning open to the right for our warrior variation, left forearm to thigh. I'll do this one um, a bit of a slower pace. Inhale, come to vertical. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Left ear, left arm <laughs> next to the ear. I'm sorry. Inhale through center. Exhale, warrior variation, left forearm to thigh. Continue that circle down and around, side lunge into the right leg. Now here we go. We're going into those skater hops. Push off the right leg. We go one, pushing to the left, two, three. Step the right foot out, return to your side lunge. This is the trickiest bit. Left toes turn back to the front, bend into the left leg, return to our warrior variation. So that's kind of, I think, the biggest change. We have to do a lot of little things. Inhale, vertical. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, return. Exhale, warrior variation. Continue the circle down and around. Side lunge into the right leg. Push off the right leg, land on the left. Push left, land right. Push right, land left. Step right foot out, side lunge. Back to warrior variation. Forearm to thigh, right arm over the ear. Inhale through center. Exhale, reverse, left arm overhead. Inhale through center. Exhale through your warrior variation. Take it down and around. Side lunge right. Push off the right, land left. Push off left, land right. Push off right, land left. 
Right foot steps out, side lunge. Let's do one more of those. Warrior variation, left forearm to thigh, through center, reverse. I'll inhale through center. Warrior variation, carry it down and around, side lunge. Three skaters, push off the right. One, two, three. Step the right foot out, turn to the back of the mat, and we'll go straight for those crouching twists. Knees to the right, hips to the left, shift forward. Knees left, shift, hips right, shift forward. Knees right, hips left, plank. Knees left, hips right. And this time lift into your down dog. Left leg lifts, bend that knee externally, rotate the hip, open up that half of the pelvis, keep the ribs neutral. And then step the left foot in front of the right foot, turning over to the right side. Keep the left hand on the floor. Maybe you wanna try a one arm table. If you hate that, just use both hands on the floor. Remembering, if you have both hands on the floor, fingers face the feet. If you've got one arm, the fingers face away. Whatever version you've got, gently start to lower the hips, turn to the left, return to down dog, and the left leg lifts. Exhale, step the left foot forward, rise for your crescent lunge. We're heading into our swings here. So you're gonna have the hands on the hips, Right leg swings and back, right leg swings and back, or you can have arms move in opposition. So coming down as the leg comes forward and up as it returns back. Yogi's choice. Swinging and swinging, keeping our pelvis stable here. Maybe this time catch the right knee Opening to the right, we'll do just one goddess here. Feeling some openness, kind of um, avoid pinching at the hips here. Exhale, windmill, right hand lands, your version of side plank. Left hand lands, left knee lands, elbow and knee maybe lift up. Right hand lands, your side plank. Left knee and hand land, elbow and knee lift. Right hand lands, side plank. Left knee and hand land, opening up elbow and knee, up to the ceiling. Stepping the right foot forward here, tuck the back toes, windmill all the way to the front for a left twisted crescent. Right hand lands. Feel that right hip crease deepening. I mean the left hip crease deepening. Right glute is on. Option here to turn both sets of toes over to the left. If that doesn't feel good, do not do it. Return to neutral and step the right foot forward, bending into the knee, forward fold. Inhale, lift. We'll head straight to the other side. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Land on those fingers. Left foot slides back. Keep length in the knee. Rise for your tilted crescent. Shifting into this warrior variation, opening up to the left side of the mat. Drop that left heel. Inhale through center. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Right arm is over the ear. Inhale. Exhale. Warrior variation. Continuing the circle down and around. Side lunge to the left. Heading to skaters. Push off the left leg. Land on the right. Push, land left. Push, land right. Left foot steps out. Side lunge. Now that transition, let's take it slow. Turning those toes back to the front of the mat. Bend into the right knee. Warrior variation, right forearm to thigh. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, lift. 
warrior variation, take it over to a side lunge, toes turn, push off the left, push off the right, push off the left, return to left leg side lunge, warrior variation, bending into the right knee, inhale, reverse, inhale through center, warrior variation, Keep that circle going, side lunge left. Push off, come to stand, skater hops. One, two, left leg steps out, side lunge, and we'll turn to the back of the mat, going straight for our twist. Knees left, hips right. Plank, knees right, hips left. Plank, knees left, hips right. Squeeze those glutes as you come to plank. Knees right, hips left. Plank, two more. Knees left, hips right. Plank. Last time, knees right, hips left. Plank, and we lift into our down dog. Right leg lifts, bend that knee, open up the hip, and then let the pelvis go too. Inhale, really press into the right hand here. Exhale, right foot steps in front of the left. Turn towards the left. Option to do a two-handed or one-handed table. If you're doing one-handed, you've got your right arm down. Really feel that shoulder on the back. Otherwise, two hands, fingers facing heels. Everybody's glutes are squeezing. Lower those hips a little. Turn back, planting the left hand. Lift that right leg, three-legged down dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward, rise for crescent lunge. Hands can be on the pelvis, starting our swings. Press into the right leg, left leg swings. You can also bend the left knee. Should have said that far earlier. Option to bring those hands, swinging in opposition with this left leg. Maybe this feels a bit more intuitive now, I hope. Second time our brain's doing it, it's usually less bumpy. Right glutes or motor here. Two more. Last time maybe catch the left knee with the right arm. Opening for standing. Twist. And we'll open the left leg out to the side for goddess. Arms can come wide. Big inhale. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Feel that work circulating. And then windmill to the back of the mat, left hand plants. Our side plank variations here. Your side plank, right hand plants, right knee lands, elbow and knee pull up to the ceiling. Left hand lands, your side plank. Right hand and shin lower, left elbow and knee pulling up. This feels so much more open. Left hand lands, side plank. Right hand and shin, elbow pull, knee lift. Last time, left hand lands, some side plank. Right hand and shin land, elbow and knee pull. Step the left foot forward, tuck the right toes, windmill to the front of the mat, twisted crescent. Left hand lands, right knee bends, opening up the right side. Oh, calming it down here. And then we'll just scoop this left knee under us to come down onto our butts and towards our backs. Once again, we'll take a quick little figure four today. So you can roll onto your back, bring those feet onto the floor, 
knees up to the ceiling. Cross that left ankle over the right thigh, but let the knee be organic. Let it stay where it wants to stay. It does not need to be perfectly open to the side. Draw down in your low belly. Keep that right thigh tracking where it is and pull the right leg towards you. Again, we're keeping this, basically this knee structure shouldn't move at all this entire time. Gentle opening for the side of the hip. And even here, you can try to sense that the two halves of your sacrum, the right side and the left, are both on the mat. We don't want one side to pick up. And the right foot lowers, we'll lower the left foot, cross that right ankle over the thigh, let the knee be honestly where it is, your natural range, and then use those core, those deep core muscles, deep abdominals, draw the left thigh towards you, keeping it in the same plane as your hip joint, feeling a nice, nothing too aggressive, but gentle opening on the right side. We'll lower the left foot, lower that right foot. Take a moment, just pause. Sense how things feel. Take a moment, you can do any pose or stretch or movement that we haven't done today that your body like really needs. And when you're ready, we'll just fall into a Shavasana, either keeping the legs bent, feet on the floor, or stretching out the limbs, opening the palms to the ceiling. Settling into this state of your body at this exact moment. Letting your mind quiet. your breath return to its natural rhythm. like to stay in your shavasana and feel free to mute your computer and stay as long as you'd like. If you're ready to move, you can take a deep inhale, really filling up the full range of the rib cage, the torso. Exhale, release. One more, just like that big inhale. Imagine that breath even lengthening the back of the neck, like it was puffing that space. And release. 
slowly draw one knee towards you and then the other. And ever so gently make your way to a comfortable seat of any form. And we'll just close our practice together here. Pausing in this seated position, feeling any changes in the body, maybe feeling the remnants of the heat that we just built. Some of these more vigorous classes can really get things moving. And then when we come back to our settled state, it almost feels like being high or, or released from something. Just take a moment to appreciate that. We'll close with a collective breath today, taking one big inhale, exhale through the mouth. Thank you so much for joining me today and anytime you join, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and find some more joy in your movement and your body and in your spirit. Thank you. Thanks team. Um, I, as always, will stay around if you have questions. Um, I'm open for anything. You have my contact info in the chat. Otherwise, thanks very much. Have a great weekend. Um, stay safe, all those things. I am sweaty. Thanks, you guys. <laughs>